Hello, my name is Blagoje and welcome back to my channel. In this video I would like to talk about my latest project and that is based on round uh, display with ESP32 development board. Uh, the connection between those two is a simple uh, SPI communication which I covered in my blog post which uh, will be linked in the comments below. But uh, the focus on this video would be this uh, custom DIY gauge that I created from scratch inside Inkscape and how you can develop uh, a gauge on your own with using Inkscape and Square Line Studio. So let's begin. So the purpose of this video is uh, for me to show you how I did it. So how did I export uh, how did I create this project inside Square Line Studio? How I did the design of this gauge? How well, I translated this design to embedded project using Arduino IDE and everything else. I used uh, Inkscape for uh, designing of this and Inkscape is uh, basically open source uh, program for vector graphic. Um, of course, I scoured a bit on uh, on internet in in order to search uh, design that I like, and I chose a couple of examples that uh, that are shown here of the round dial with the center uh, speedo, and we have gauge that is going uh, going round uh, going round. So, how I can create something like this? In this video you will notice that I'm not a graphics design guy and my design is a bit basic but uh, with, with a bit more uh, struggle or maybe better designer you can get some 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 gauges like this on on your embedded project but I came across uh, something like this I will link now full uh, full speed up version of how I did it with a couple of uh, YouTube uh, clips that help me design this. But the end product for me is basically these three images. So first image should be my gauge background with everything on it. The second image is this style which will be here and go round and indicate the speed. And the third one will be this uh, this shadow, basically, which will actually uh, follow this style and going from complete transparent to not so transparent indicates uh, our, our speed. And those three components were needed to be designed inside Inkscape and then basically just export them as images. So now if we just go to the project tab, uh, project folder here I have as export from Inkscape I have only three files I have basically my circle which is something like this of course this part here is transparent then becoming more or less transparent then we have our dial and then we have our background when we have this, we can open our Square Line Studio and we can import everything. Everything uh, we can import these three images uh, to Square Line Studios. When we did, it, uh, did this, we can uh, simply uh, select one screen and then we can start uh, start adding adding stuff. Uh, we can first set this background image as our image here. Then, this is very important, we can uh, set our overlay, which is this uh, faded line. And for example, if I change the value of, of the overlay now from 32, for example, uh, centi, we can see what I mean by overlay. So, um, overlay is a simple arc with uh, actually the image our our circle embed to to this so if we for example see how how this uh, uh, basic arc looks like it's like this so if you uh, only thing that i did is extend the width of this and just 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 embedded the image of our circle inside embedded image of our circle inside style 
of indicator and then arc tab and inside uh, this circle. So actually my arc can now be uh, transparent uh, where uh, I need it to be and then we can increase the, 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 the color as the speed rises and falls. So for example if we now go to the arc tab and change change the value from 70 to 150 you can see the difference so for example 140 120 and for example 90. so with this i have full control of of my overlay with only this value parameter which is actually representative of direct direct speed so if i just input here uh, zero it will represent the speed of zero if i input uh, 50 it will represent speed of 50. Uh, the other part of this is actually this dial this dial is uh, the image uh, this long which is basically this this part transparent and we are actually pivoting this this image over one central point so if you can see here i have this pivot uh, x coordinate and pivot y coordinate and with this i can i can actually uh, set the pivot uh, pivot point for this image and then vary the angle here so uh, for this this is now angle that is corresponding to to to, to uh, 30 miles uh, 30 kilometers per hour but for example if we change this to zero it will be at zero position if we input uh, 100 well, this is actually representative of 10 degrees uh, offset uh, let's do for example 90 degrees it's okay let's test it for 180 degrees fine uh, 270 so this is working the only problem with this is that we need to have simple formula that is actually calculating our angle to our speed so for example if we would like to have speed of zero we will need to input uh, here the angle of i think 30 something 35 So yeah, so if we need the speed of zero, we need to input uh, the angle of 39 degrees and with this we can calculate simple formula that is actually translating the speed into angle which is needed for, for, for uh, this application. The third uh, thing that we need to change in sequence with those two is actually our display. This is pretty simple, simple text which yeah we are changing by inputting different numbers. So basically now we have uh, we have our program completed. We can export this UI and we need basically only three values to control in order to have to have a working display. Actually here is our project. We have external variables that are our overlay, uh, dial and display and it's uh, basically everything that we need here we have initialization of our uh, lbgl library and our ui and tft uh, tft spi communication which i will not cover in this video you will you will have uh, links to my previous two videos where i covered this in uh, in more detail but here i would like to focus on exactly this implementation uh, with this automotive automotive gauge so what is happening now inside inside the main loop we are simply doing some ticks so every every second or so we are every 20 milliseconds we are increase, increasing the value and what we are doing here is basically just updating uh, updating the value of, of our arc with LV arc set value and it's accepting default speed so this is mapping one to one uh, then we have uh, we have a couple of more things then we are just translating the uh, speed 
to the text in order to display to display this on uh, display with simple LV label set text and then later on we here have basically the calculation for our uh, our transition from speed to angle with this simple formula which is done basically by by, by checking the value for, for zero speed and 450 uh, kph and then translating this to, 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 to desired angle. When we have our angle calcul calculated, we need to multiply that angle by 10 in order to have a valid representation inside our Square Line Studio. If you can remember uh, for our dial, if we want uh, 90 degrees, we needed to input 900. If we would like to have 180 degrees, we need to add uh, one additional zero to the end. So, because of this, we are multiplying this by 10, and basically that is it. Uh, with this, uh, these values here, you can update your your GUI. This will need to be, uh, of course, uh, synced. So each update should contain each uh, should contain the same speed value in order to have this uh, uh, simultaneously updated. And this is basically it. When you have this, you can easily now combine this to OBD2 Reader and uh, create yourself a nice automotive gauge. And exactly this is what I will do in uh, and this is exactly what I will do in my next videos. I am hoping uh, that I will do this on my first project car, but let's wait and see. So until I get my project car, this is all for this video and take care.